Shabbat Shalom from the holy city of Jerusalem. All right, let's hear a story before Shabbos. So the following story comes from a Chabad of Minnesota, Rabbi Feller. And it says that once a couple came to him and they sat before him and he said, what can I do for you? And he said, the, the, the couple, the, the man said to him, you know, we're looking to get married. And even though I'm not an observant Jew, my, uh, you know, my fiance, she's uh, not Jewish altogether. And when I brought her home, my parents freaked out. So we talked it over and she decided that she wants to convert to Judaism. So first we went to a reformed, you know, synagogue and we came to find that they weren't very serious. Then we went to a conservative one and we weren't that enthused. And so my husband said to me, he was like, if we're going to do something, you do it right. Go to a Chabad, you go to an Orthodox, and then no one can question it. So we come to you now because we're interested in doing this. So the rabbi says, look, you know, uh, Orthodox conversion is no joke. It's a change in lifestyle altogether. She says, look, I know, but I want to find out more. I want to study. I want to learn. So he said, great. Start attending. You know, every couple uh, days we'll have shiurim lessons and we'll see what we can do. She says, wonderful. After about two weeks of going to classes, she comes home and she starts shouting at her fiance. What kind of Jew are you? She says. He says, what are you talking about? He says, well, I learned about the Sabbath and how you're supposed to keep the Sabbath, but you've never kept the Sabbath the whole time I've been with you. And kosher, you've never kept kosher. And she just starts listing all these commandments. And it's like, yeah, yeah, okay, slow down, slow down. You need to go ahead and convert Orthodox, then no one can question it. But afterwards, you don't have to do all that stuff. That's like old ancient stuff. A lot of us don't do that. She says, well, if that's the way you see things, that you don't know how to commit, well, I don't think that you're the right guy for me. And she breaks off the wedding. Anyways, months and months go by and she finally gets to the point where uh, her conversion's about to be finalized. And it gets finalized in an act called a mikvah, a spiritual bath. The way it works is a woman will go in with a, a robe, so to speak, and uh, she'll submerge under the water and there has to be a rabbinical uh, court of three rabbis that peek their heads in to make sure that she submerges all the way and then they're satisfied and they leave. And so they do this whole act and they leave the room and all of a sudden they hear shrieks at the top of someone's lungs. And they think, oh my gosh, something went wrong. Maybe she slipped, chas v'shalom. And so they po poke open the door and they listen and they hear her screaming, I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew, out of sheer joy. And Rabbi Feller turns to his comrades, his other rabbis, and he says, Wow, this woman's been a Jew for one moment. And look at the outburst of joy. And us, been Jewish since birth. Do we shout like that every day? Something to keep in mind. It's a blessing. It's a blessing to be alive and it's a blessing to be one who's given the responsibility to walk in God's ways. And you have a blessed Shalom, a Shabbat Shalom, excuse me, and only good things.